So now let me demonstrate uh, how the system works in action. So let's start with the working user part. So imagine I'm the working user and uh, I can check out available services here. Uh, so I pick out the business keys. The server printer will print me a ticket. So this is the queue number is my queue number, just like now. Um, and the data on this paper is just some dummy data. Yeah, so this is a way uh, the traditional user also could use this system. And at the same time, the data already uh, writes into our cloud APIs, so it can work with all the other part of the system. After demonstrating the walk-in user part, let me quickly demonstrate how the user take queue number online. The right part shows the page to show the queue status in real time, and this page can be shown in the big screen or simply a web page the users can visit. And the left part show, um, shows the interface for the online user to take a queue number. They can see the all available services and all the services should be the same as the walking user say. Uh, and also here you can also see um, how many people are waiting for each services. So let me pick the first one. Because in this case, I require the user to enter their phone number uh, when they take a queue number online. But you can also adjust your own uh, conditions for the user to to take queue number online because this is demo I just type some dummy phone number and click OK uh, by the way uh, if you type the real phone number you will get the text message to show you the queue number okay now I got my queue number is T2 so now the question is how the employee manage the whole queues already uh, like scheduled in our system. Luckily, we <coughs> develop um, a uh, admin dashboard for this kind of purposes. So basically, every time you uh, some customer take queue number in this page, you will see an increased amount of uh, number in different services. So now let me just show you how it works. Just make it a little bit bigger. So now I log in this dashboard and um, I can start to serve text card service. I click start serve. And here I need to choose which window I'm belong to. Uh, for example, I'm belong to window one and I click this one. So at the same time, you can see here is updated. So now I'm serving uh, the text card services and serving the number T1 and I'm in window 1 and after this one I click next and then it will show now it's T2 and now it's pending 0 in the queue and after click next there's no queuing and here it will be automatically updated so uh, I can change to serve another services if I'm like changing to window 2, it's the same stuff, B3, B4. And if I continue to take um, another queue number, like text card, and then it will show when and take another. It will show 2. So, <clears throat> and also you can modify some uh, stuff uh, like what's the organization name and address phone number and also the support business this part will affect the interface the user can see so for for, for example i want to pause uh, these other services i can click edit and change the status cl to close uh, to save and then it will uh, it will hit in this page. If I want to add another type prefix, another 
whatever and it's open click save it will also add new service here and um, so the, the ser service can be added or removed on the fly also the windows or branches you can add new windows window has two has three <coughs> free and it's this is open now you can see here and you can also write some random stuff like uh, Tom uh, is serving and also you can also delete on the fly and uh, the, uh, the dashboard will also give you two link that you could show this link to the TV and this one iPad or mobile phone to let the walking user to take so just simple click and you can just start working on it click yeah